Okay, so I want to recognise two people for Black History One. Um, firstly, I do want to recognise my bishop, Bishop Dag Hewitt Mills, um, who literally is the most inspiring person to me. He's literally been an evangelist, he's been a missionary, well not really a missionary but he's evangelized so many people. He's the reason why so many people are saved today um, all across the world and um, he's just simply amazing. And the second person is Nelson Mandela because after all that he had to endure and he had to watch his people endure, he chose to forgive his oppressors and I feel like that's one of the reasons why he is recognized so much and and you know the person that we know him as um, and that's why yeah I choose to recognize him today that's it <laughs> um, you know who I recognize actually most of the black people in education um, because you know the age that I am there was there were no black people in ed education. Um, there was just either dinner ladies or cleaners. Where now we have teachers, professors, lecturers. So you know that's a good reputation for people to realise that you know we can be in that system. The people that I recognise that stand out for me um, during Black History Month would be the figures such as Muhammad Ali and the great Malcolm X. Those are the people who stand out for me. One, they share the same religion, and that's something that I. Um, I um, look forward to and how they were so like like what they like how far they have reached and this, um, how I'd say their their work is still you know integrated in our day to day lives is something that is very beautiful to me. So those are the figures that I admire. Marcus Garvey would be mostly probably because he's Jamaican and I am Jamaican, but also um, you know for what he was trying to achieve. I think he it's underrated and underestimated what he was doing and putting together. Um, and also, that work I think needs to be done now in this day and age. I feel like historical figures are important, like Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, but I feel like it's also important to acknowledge the new faces in black history that are currently making history, like the athletes, the politicians, the social speakers. I think, I think that's an important thing. Uh, for people to recognise. I would have to say Marcus Garvey and I know that's very cliched and I know that we had Marcus Garvey Day and all the celebrations but no one's actually taken the time to read his doctrines, to read his academic work and just to recognise how empowering it is for the black community to talk about freeing yourselves from colonisation and not just in the physical sense but mentally, emotionally and for the sake of your identity and your own kind of culture so I'd like to recognise him during this Black History Month.